The pathway is called exogenous pathway, as it processes and presents exogenous antigens, that is the antigens generated outside the cells such as bacteria. The process is also called the endocytic pathway, as the internalized antigens are processed in different endocytic compartments or endosomes. It involves MHC class II molecules for antigen presentation, and the presented antigens are recognized by CD4 plus T helper cells. MHC class II molecules are expressed by antigen-presenting cells, such as dendritic cells, macrophages, and B cells. These cells can internalize antigens by phagocytosis, endocytosis, or both. For example, macrophages internalize antigens by both processes, and B cells internalize antigens by receptor-mediated endocytosis. As mentioned, once an antigen is internalized, it moves through three increasingly acidic compartments. The first compartment is early endosome, with pH 6 to 6.5. The second compartment is late endosome, or endolysosome with pH 5 to 6. And the third compartment is lysosome, with pH 4.5 to 5. In these compartments, using different hydrolytic enzymes and under the influence of acidic pH, the antigen is degraded into oligopeptides of about 13 to 18 residues, which is ideal for class II MHC molecule binding. For example, lysosomes contain a unique collection of more than 40 acid-dependent hydrolyses, including proteases, nucleases, glycosidases, lipases, phospholipases, and phosphatases. Similar to class I MHC molecules, Class II MHC molecules are also synthesized within the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Since antigen-presenting cells express both class I and class II MHC molecules, some mechanisms must exist to prevent class II MHC molecules from binding to peptides generated by the cytosolic pathway. Therefore, whenever a class II MHC molecule is newly synthesized, its peptide binding cleft is blocked by a protein called invariant chain, so that binding of any endogenously derived peptide is prevented. In addition to stabilizing the class II MHC, the invariant chain also helps in directing the complex towards endocytic compartments. Now, the class II MHC invariant chain complex moves to Golgi complex, and through Golgi complex, it moves to different endocytic compartments. Due to acidic pH in endocytic compartments, different proteases are activated, and they digest the invariant chain, leaving a short fragment of the invariant chain called, CLIP, that is, class II associated invariant chain peptide. Later, this complex encounters the antigenic peptide derived from the endosomal protein degradation pathway. Now, the CLIP is exchanged with an antigenic peptide, which is mediated by a chaperone called, HLADM. Once the peptide has bound, the peptide class II MHC complex is transported to the surface of the cell, where it encounters a CD4 plus T helper cell, 